Okay, suppose you actually want to find the equation of a parabola, I don't know why, and all you have at your disposal is the vertex. Remember, that's sort of the, the, the critical point where the parabola turns. And someone also tells you the distance that point is from the focus. How would you proceed? Well, so if you have a vertex at hk, okay, and your focus is um, a distance either plus or minus p away, depending upon whether p is negative or not, then Either the equation is x minus h squared equals 4py minus k. And that's if you have a parabola that's either going to be a happy face or a sad face, depending upon whether p is positive or p is negative. Or the other possibility is that you have y minus k squared equals 4px minus h, in which case then you have either a opening parabola this way if p is positive or a parabola that opens this way if p I'm sorry if p is positive that should be a positive if p were negative so in fact that's the whole story you can easily find the formula for anything that someone gives you for example let's suppose i tell you i'm thinking of a parabola and its vertex its vertex is at 0 0 and its focus is 4, 0. Name that parabola. Well, what would you do? Well, first of all, I would sketch a picture of it to see what's going on here. So if you sketch a little picture of it, it would look something like this. Well, let's see. We've got the vertex is here at 0, 0. And the focus is at 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. So if that's the focus, the parabola sort of wants to go around the focus. So in fact, the parabola must somehow look like this. So that tells me it must be of this form, and p must be positive. OK, so that's pretty good. So I know it has to look like this. So I know what the uh, vertex is. It's 0, 0. So I put a 0 in for k. k is 0. I put a 0 in for h. That's 0. And so I see just y squared equals, and now what's p? Well, p is the distance away from the, from the focus. And what's the distance the vertex is from the focus? It's 1, 2, 3, 4. So in fact, I put, I put a 4 for p. So 4 times 4 would be 16x. So in fact, that's the equation of the parabola that has vertex at 0, 0, and focus at 4, 0. Neat and pretty easy, too. Let's try another one together. Suppose I tell you I'm thinking of a parabola. And the vertex of this parabola is located at 4, 3. And its focus is located at 4, 0. Name that parabola. First thing I would do is sketch a picture of it and see what this thing looks like. So what do we have got going on here? The vertex is at 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3. 1, 2, 3. So there's the vertex. And the focus is at 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. So in fact, there is the focus. And the parabola wants to curve around the focus. So the parabola looks like this, which means it is a parabola that goes up or down. So it's like this equation. And it's a sad face parabola. So p is now going to be negative. OK, so let's see if we can now report the answer. What would we have? I would see that I'd have, oops, I guess I need this here, sorry. So here's the vertex. So what would I see? I would see x minus h. Now the h here is 4, and the k here is 3, because that's the vertex. So I'd see x minus 4 squared equals, and now what's p? Well, p here, I remind you, is supposed to be negative because I want it to be a sad face parabola. And it represents plus or minus the distance away the vertex is from the focus. So what's this distance? This is at 3. This is at 0. So the distance is 1, 2, 3. So it's 3. But I want it to be negative because I want it to be a sad face parabola. So negative 3 times 4 is negative 12 times y. And then I have minus k. And what's k? Well, k is 3, so I have minus 3. So in fact, that is the equation for the unique parabola that has a vertex at 4, 3 and a, a focus at 
four zero. Weren't you always wondering how to find the equation of that parabola? Now you know. And if you actually can use this, good for you. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>